Put your guns away and get your bikes out. Welcome to the Weekly Pleb. My name is Douglas Rieger, and I'm your host. This week, my guests, plural, are my good friends and comedians, Marky and yes, Skittles. Yes, sir. Thank you guys for coming on. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Thank you for having me, my boy. Of course. Of course. It's good to yes, see you. Sir. Yeah. I'll, all right. Got it. <laughs> got to get that. All right. So you guys both like to bike, right? Yes, sir. And not motorcycle, but traditional old bikes. I like both. You like both. I oh. love both. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you like things with two wheels. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and four wheels too. I like quads too. I like everything with just a motor in it. Don't um, discriminate. Yeah. You know. Okay. You don't discriminate on wheels. All right. I got you. If you had to define the Bear Down Boys to someone that hadn't seen you on social <clears throat> media or anything, how would you do that? Um, I would say that we are like, um, first of all, like a big bike BMX, um, big bikes BMX group that ride probably a lot different than any other group would ride a lot of people go to like a skate park and they get their tricks down they do fundamentals but we like to do like a kind of like a street ride where we like to do willies and we like to like do tricks and dumping around on the bikes and stuff that people don't usually see you know what i'm saying and so yeah we just kind of met up with like a, a big group of guys like met up like you know what i'm saying we just now you go on a ride yeah you go oh, yeah. through the, the streets oh yeah mm -hmm. And you could tell who who like who likes the willies and who likes the swerving and who doesn't, cause like, you know what I'm saying? There's people yeah. in, at the at the rideouts who are just like, hey, like what the hell? Like watch out, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. So there's people at the the rides that get upset about when you're going a little too crazy. Yeah, I mean, like once you swerve an incoming car, like <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, like I can see that, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like she got to put on a show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how did it kind of get started and become this thing? Did you like meet people online or was it bumping into <clears> other <throat> bikers in the streets or the, the park? The Bear Down Boys or me getting into biking? The Bear Down Boys. The Bear Down Boys. The I don't need to hear about your mom getting <clears throat> okay. a Christmas yeah. present one year. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah. My mom. <laughs> so I used to go to this thing called the Tuesday Night Bike Ride Out, <clears throat> which I still do and a lot of my friends do. Um, what's it called? Um, I started going there with a mountain bike that I had from Costco, and I met these guys because I I wanted to get into wheeling, and I really didn't have an expensive bike, and so I met these three, or well, actually four guys, and their names were JJ, which his name is Happy Daddy Stunts on Instagram. He is a f dog on every bike. I'm talking every single bike he he rides, he can kill it on. <clears throat> I also met my two OGs named Nano. Um, Andy and Andres T Rex, I mean Andres uh, Alejandro T Rex. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you have to edit that. <laughs> also met my dog Alejandro T Rex. Um, yeah, th those are good guys. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I met them, and they also put me on to which was the the Big Rippers and the SC bikes actually, and another guy named Larry as well. What are the Big Rippers and SC? Bikes? An SC bike is like a basically a big BMX bike that is made for stunting. You can do everything it, like a BMX bike can, except it's just a lot bigger. It's a lot nicer. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's what's in right now. It's those bikes that kids want right now. And <clears throat> obviously, there's there's cheaper brands that make better bikes. There's more expensive brands that make better bikes. But that's what's in. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what got the brand name popping. And so. They ended up making me get one of those bikes right there, which I ended up copying an SE bike, and I I owned it for a long time, and I love it. Yeah, it was a great great investment. So, are you trying? <clears throat> are the Bear Down Boys trying to make like a statement, or is it just an excuse for people to come together and go and ride? Honestly, both. Um, we want to show that Tucson is 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 slept on, especially because we have one of the best biking like trails the best biking routes in, in the whole world is here in tucson actually arizona a lot of people do not know that whether that's like street riding or that's you taking a path you going up a mountain and coming back down like whether it be whatever it is like people sleep on that stuff and i don't know also um is a, we also want to get everybody together we want to get the youth out of out of doing drugs and and you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people are easily influenced nowadays by music, what's going on, and like people, all all, all the rap songs are talking about drugs and sex, and you know what I'm saying, and guns, and it's just like 
Yeah, it's, it's not good for people. My bad. My it's bad. Good. I think I stepped on her toe there. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned swerving in front of oncoming traffic. Yeah, that's something I do not condone, and that's something I do not. <laughs> I do not think is is cool at all. I I am not gonna. From now on, I will not be posting me swerving cars, somebody else swerving a car that is not a image I want on myself. Now that no people, now that the people know me, know that I can do it. <laughs> I don't need anybody else knowing I can do it, whether that be my work or whether that be me trying to, you know what I'm saying, get sponsored or do whatever it may be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, I just got to be careful with what I post and that I need to stop posting. So, yeah, don't be swerving. Don't be swerving cars. Don't be doing that shit. Yeah. What has it been like seeing the the OGs, as you were saying, <clears throat> like the, the guys that have been biking around town for a long time, right? Yeah. See, like start biking with the new, newer, younger guys like you. Mm hmm you know what the cool thing is also is that that social media is playing a big factor nowadays to to their part as well because you know what I'm saying growing up I'm sure they didn't have as much exposure as they did now and so now these older guys that are riding can now be seen which is a great thing if you ask me you know what I'm saying and and um I feel like a lot of OGs for a lot of like any sport or anything you do you know what I'm saying they never get recognized but now is a now is a good time for them you know what I'm saying to be popping and shout out shout out T-Rex and Nano and and Alejandro and all those guys you know what I'm saying they're yeah yeah they're they're good guys bro I mean outside of bike life bro they're genuine people who I could call bro and if I need something they would take care of me so that's awesome yeah it, it's I'm sure they're excited to see like young guys get in on it oh yeah. bro that's the best thing is I'm sure is when we do those giveaways and we do those you know what I'm saying we we get together and we we just talk about who 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 landed a new trick and they're they're 15 years old you know what I'm saying it's yeah. it's crazy yeah it's surreal so I doubt you've ever like lined <clears throat> them up and counted them all right but like if you had to guess how many people have showed up to like the biggest meet you've had Cause they look pretty big. Well, I'm every looking. Tuesday night ride, one Tuesday night bike ride, which like we don't necessarily host, but we're basically like it's a thing. But now I feel like we we have so much people there. I feel like it's it's our thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's been like I would say like 230 people, but at our first ride out that we hosted, we had oh, like 100 people. I would say for sure and. At the first one? Yeah, our first one. How do you get, like, that much support and people that are interested that <clears throat> quickly? Like I said, bro, it's, like, it's all about who you know and, 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 <laughs> and, and you make, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, yeah, make, yeah, um, yeah. you make good communication, you make good relationships with people who are not from here, and they will also show love and support. And I guess that was a main factor, too, is we had people come from, <clears throat> we had people come from like Phoenix. We had people come from California. We had people come from Mexico, bro. Like I seen all that. different mm -hmm. parts of Arizona, Benson. Like it was crazy. And Arizona, that's the U.S. That's another country. What do you mean? That's yeah. huge. That's yeah. insane. And so it's it's a it's a big thing. And so I mean, and it's only gonna get bigger from here. Like I said, that was our yeah. first one. And and I mean, shit. Well, <laughs> I mean, I had a bike sitting on my my um my garage for a long time and uh i just told my i told the bear down boy that said down we should do a giveaway with this bike and it was like yeah we should and so me like i ended up me and him ended up taking it stripping it down and and changing the whole look on it uh, that little kid at that ride out yeah. he was the only kid there without a bike yeah and also that was also like was he just running alongside you guys? No, nah, he was cat. not. <laughs> he was a little boy. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, it was my, it was my, home, it was my actually my homeboy's son. Yeah. Like a big, it was my boy's son. Um, he had him on his little CRF fifty. It was a little pit bike, and um, yeah. mm -hmm. he had him sitting in the front, and everybody else had a bike there, and everybody else was a little bit older, and it was a smaller bike, so I was just like, that's perfect. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I told <clears throat> all the guys, I was like, you guys think this is a guy I should give it to, and they're just like, definitely, and so. We did a speech, which you guys will see right now. We yeah, all got together, there. talked about it. We all selected kind it's of rolling the right now. Oh, well, you're not going to talk about it. I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, but yeah. <laughs> Shit, <in me. laughs> Hey, that, that kid looked really happy. Like, yeah. yeah he, he looked really. Oh, I'll excited. show you some pictures of him. I'll show you, like, I'll send you some that. Yeah, bro. It was a good thing. And, and not only that, like, it brought. Me and the Bear Down Boys, and we also have Bear Down Boys who are not even from here. We have a Bear Down Boy who's actually from Mexico, bro. 
And so he, he just came, comes up all the time? And he came down, yeah. And yeah. he came down and fucking it brought it. You know what I'm saying? It, it brings us together, bro. Yeah. And it's it's not a bad thing, bro. Riding bikes is, is never a bad thing. One, it's good for your body. Two, it's fucking not a bad thing that you can be doing. And three, like, bro, you everybody likes biking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <clears throat> unless you're fat and lazy bitch get up <laughs> it's like running but way better <laughs> yeah you go faster yeah you get the same like uh, dopamine as running but for right. less effort I feel like you know mm-hmm. are you ever worried about someone that's like pissed off about what you're doing when you're like, absolutely and I always have something I mean there'd be times where I'd be swerving because sometimes I dead ass will just take my jeep and park it on f- fourth and just take my bike off the bike rack and put headphones in and i'll just go through traffic bro by myself and just be weaving in and out and i don't hear things behind me and obviously i'll look back and i'll see people <laughs> flipping me off and people will be yeah. mad i'll take my headphones out and be like why are you mad like it's a red light yeah. and they'll give me a earful and obviously <clears throat> i'm i'm not gonna lie if somebody was coming at me with a bicycle bro and swerved out my way i would probably be a little bit heated especially if i had to slam my brakes bro yeah, yeah, like yeah. But that's the reason why you should not be swerving cars right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should not be swerving stick cars. Stick to swerving people on the swift sidewalk. Swift to, yeah, yeah, yeah. just swift, yeah, just swift. Yeah, swerving cops. Yeah, speaking of swerving cops. Swerving cops, yeah, let me tell you, you about that. You, you want to talk about what just happened? Yeah. You want to talk about what just happened? Yeah, so that's a good thing to bring up last night. That was actually crazy. I actually, I, we didn't get into debt for it last night. Now I can tell yeah. you. Yeah. Um, last night was the U of A game, and it was like, we were we were in the Sweet 16, and it was a very big game. So we were in the Sweet yeah, we were in the Sweet 16, and and a lot of bl- the roads were blocked off by the U of A, and there was a shit ton of cops, and and obviously me and my friends ride a little bit loud and disruptive. Can't be louder than motorcycles. No, yeah, that's true, hundred <laughs> percent. And so we were doing our thing, and so we ended up leaving university. And we ended up talking to the cops, and they were cool as hell. You know what I'm saying? They were just like, "Hey, we they ended up following our Instagram with Bear Down Boys, which is cool. A couple right. cops followed Bear Down Boys. Shout out those cops. Um, <clears throat> those those ones are actually cool. And maybe some we, blue lives do matter. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Those ones there. We met a handful of cool cops that night. But we also met one good shitty cop, and so we 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 ended up going downtown, spinning around, and then coming back. And on our way back down Fourth, I was in a willy, and and I had like everybody was willing behind me, and f-ing. we were in the bike lane, and um, these three cops come out right in front of this bar, right on Fourth, and one of them grabs my boy and f-ing, throws him off his bike. My boy um, Beto, shout out Real Vision Zooming, just out of the blue. Yeah, he threw him off of his bike and well he actually came for me first and he said don't run don't run and I obviously I swerved and I just I went around him and I I was in the he, I was in the bike lane like you know what I'm saying I knew I wasn't doing anything wrong so I just kept going and he slammed my boy Beto off of his bike for no reason and so everyone at that point kind of left that restaurant and that place that everybody was at and came came outside and started recording the cops because it wasn't there's different ways to to handle that, you know what I'm saying? Like, like throw him off his bike? Are yeah. you kidding me? Yeah. And yeah. so, um what would you like to say to that cop if he's watching right now or listening? That cop right now? Yeah. He's disappointed in you. Shake my head, man. To you say need the to least. Do better. <laughs> That's down. Yeah, man, you need to I'm not going to say you need to be fired, but you definitely need to to just be retrained and I feel like that goes for a lot of people and and that speaking about like that's a, like the whole world thing like that's, we can get deep about that but like I'll keep on continuing about what happened yeah, yeah f- that cop anyways <laughs> for real shout out real vision yeah but um <clears throat> he ended up tackling my friend off the floor and and this and that yada yada and and f- and my friend um he had a bunch of scratches on him and they take him around the corner and we were just like f- what do we do yeah and so well actually all when all that was happening. As soon as I saw that happening, the cops like threw him and they threw his bike to the curb and all my friends were recording, which you guys will see right here on the video. Um, I told this dude that we were with, I was like, hey, go get his bike. You know what I'm saying? I said, go park your bike around the corner. And I said, just grab his bike because, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the last thing he needs yeah. is somebody to steal his bike. And so he went and took his bike and we took it around the corner. And then um, they, at that point, I we came back and he was sitting in the police car and they took him around the corner. We thought they were going to take him in. And so we go around the corner, and, and there's a shit ton of cops, bro. And I guess that cop was probably going to get in trouble. That cop was going to get in trouble? Yeah, he ended up walking away and, and hiding. And 
Hey, well, that's good to hear. The paramedics came and took care of my friends, and there, the, all the other cops were accommodating me and my friends. <clears throat> Shout out those cops that were accommodating me and my friends because they were honestly good cops, and they were good hey, people. I'm happy to hear it sounds like most of the cops in this story have been pretty good. No, yeah, 100%. Right. And, and also, there was three cops that came out to the street. Remember I told you? Yeah. It was only one dude that took tackled my friend and yeah. touched him. All the other cops were just standing around, like, because they kind of, I feel like they knew that that was up dude yeah. like tackling somebody in a bike lane off their bike is you know well, and the fact that you said once it like was getting further investigated yeah. it sounded like he kind of wandered off yeah right? and so. that, i doubt that's him being in trouble and it's probably just one of his cops buddies saying hey you need to f-ing walk off yeah you know? he also he also wasn't wheeling my, the guy, yeah, really my, no he doesn't he know how just, to wheelie he was just riding, riding his bike yeah, in the bike lane. lane he doesn't know how to wheelie riding his bike yeah. in the bike lane see that's a problem that's a and case and I'll show you a picture that. bro is because they also said he was in the bike lane but that's a case for that cop check yeah. this out <laughs> yeah he's gotta be careful doing shit like that you know what I think check it is check this out I, look at this I think it's that uh, the cops that are patrolling 4th Ave are just bored of watch, for, watching for the drunk people come stumbling out yeah they're looking for something more exciting you talked a little bit about like how quickly it's grown and you're getting people from Mexico and other states that are coming up for rides and you're doing uh, meetups with groups in Phoenix and stuff like that. Where do you see this going? Do you have plans for this? In the <clears> Absolutely. Future? I, especially if any of my, my people in the group, like any of my friends get signed, like that's just going to make it even bigger and it's going to make our ride outs even better. We're going to give away better things. That means the way the things we are going to give away are going to be better. The people we are going to attract are going to be better. Our audience is going to be bigger because we we are just gonna be on that level, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it just takes time to get there. But like you said, where where do I see this going? I see this going like I see the Bear Down Boys staying here in Arizona. Okay. Like I said, or, I mean not staying here in Arizona, like like being a Tucson based thing because yeah. obviously Arizona Bear Down. But but shit, if this takes off, bro, this can be a big thing. Yeah. Just like one way is. I don't know if one way Corey sees this, but shout out him. (laughs) You've been from Tucson your whole life, right? Mm -hmm. Has doing this made you learn the streets even better? Yeah, absolutely. Especially knowing what streets are good to ride on, (laughs) too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But yeah, absolutely, bro. Like, me taking my bicycle is is also me like finding different things that my car could have never taken me to or my Jeep could have never taken me to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could be... I'd be going to urban places, bro, on my bike where I would have never walked to because I've, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I, I just be riding in my Jeep. But now that I'm into the bike scene, like I, I can go into urban places. I can go into a place or I can go under a bridges that I've never seen before, bro. Or, yeah. Meet Crackhead Joe. Under yeah, the meet Crackheads, bro. Smoke some crack. You know what it is. <laughs> Don't smoke crack. Don't smoke crack, guys. However, you cannot get a DUI on a bicycle here in Arizona. What? What about that whole story with? Yeah. Uh, was that nonsense? Was that just a rumor? I don't know if they. I think they might have just changed it. Because growing up, I think I looked it up and they said you can't get a deal on a bicycle. But now I looked it yeah. up. Look it up, bro. I bet you. Uh, that's why I don't. I need the guy. I need the guy to be like, hey, pull it up. Look it up. <laughs> hey, Jamie, pull it. Pull that shit up. Pull it up. Huh? <laughs> Pro tip: Drink before you go out. Drink before you Wow. Arizona DUI law requires the alcohol impaired operation of a motorized vehicle, which does not apply to a traditional bicycle. Yeah. And then it goes on to explain <laughs> that why it doesn't have a motor. So anybody out there with a DUI or anybody that's looking to get f***ed up and wanting to go home, take a f***ing bicycle. Do not drive. That shit is not cool. <laughs> Don't condone that. Three, do not even be riding a bike drunk if you ain't built like that. Yeah. That's and a- three, don't even be getting <laughs> drunk. And, and there you have it. There you have it. <laughs> hey, I just noticed. You have a, do you have a tiny watch on your ring? I, I saw do. that right now too. I was Are like, you kidding, kidding me? me? Is this a working watch? Yeah, it is. <laughs> You're bro. shitting me. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, <laughs> oh my! You can that tell shit the time is OG. with this. Yeah, that is. Right. That shit's hard. That has got to be the. Let, cool. me the let me show the pod Rest real quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's got to be the coolest watch I have ever seen. Watch and ring <laughs> I've ever seen. Vienna. Hey. Yeah, stop. If you see Vienna's protecting the, the viewers, she doesn't appreciate she the way you approach it. you approach the viewers there. <laughs> I saw you went to Tucson Mall. Yeah. How how long were you biking in there before like sh- you didn't even get in trouble? You got out of there without anything. Yeah. Um, how did you take... do that? I feel like that's much more protected than that. 
as you'll see on the video screen, <laughs> I'll send you the clips, the right. GoPro clips. Right. As soon as I rode into the Tucson Mall, I saw a custodian, and I said, can I ride this in the mall? Can you ride on? And he said, <laughs> oh, no English? Okay. Si, mucho gracias. So, at that point, I was like, that's, he didn't say no. Yeah. He didn't say yes. But he didn't say no. Yeah. He said no, I'll blow English. So at that point, <laughs> I was going to say, if someone catches me, <laughs> I'm going to say, I talked to somebody and they said <laughs> I can ride in the mall. <laughs> they said they hadn't heard about any rules against it, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't see any signs. And so, <laughs> hey, if I went in sign, there. And, if there's not a sign. That's why every sign exists. Someone does it once and then they make a sign, right? So, so yeah. Right. Someone has to do it. I'd, someone I'd had to get the ball. The yeah, someone so had to get the ball rolling. I, at that point, I was like looking around, as you'll see on my GoPro. I was kind of sketched out. And then I did a, <laughs> a circle around the food court. Yeah. And then I came outside and then I was just like waiting for somebody or security to come out. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody. To, mm -hmm. And I waited like five minutes and nobody came out. And I was like, wow. And so I just, I looked at Nate and I looked at my homie Sebastian. <clears throat> Shout out them <laughs> um, for fucking just, just holding it down outside. Fucking, um, I told them, I said, I'll be right back. And they just, they already knew what time I was on. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, yeah. if you know me now, you know, like you, you follow my videos. I'll ride my bike into any <laughs> store, anything I can, bro. Like. Especially hey, if I get permission to get some attention for the bear. Absolutely. Boys, right? Yeah. And that's, that's the main goal too, is, is yeah. it's to be different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. you don't see no, I've never seen anybody ride a willy in a mall, yeah. let alone yep. the two saw mall. You know I what I'm saying? Shit. And so that was also the main thing that was going through my head is when I was in there and I was just like, Fuck, I already have my bike in here. Like I'm not too crazy good at control willies, but <laughs> fuck it. You're you know doing what I'm it anyways. Like, I'm do it. like, <laughs> yeah. like if, you know yeah. what I'm saying? What's the worst yeah. that's going to happen? They're going to kick me out, bro. They'll give me a fucking yeah. $100 charge. Like, bro. I, but one, I'm not going to get caught. That's another well, thing. Well, uh, hypothetically. Yeah. I'm not saying you ever would, but you. the only reason I ask this is because you just said you weren't 100% confident in your wheeling yet, right? Mm -hmm. What if you just, like, you're doing a little wheelie, and you know there's a little, like, candle s setups in the middle of the, s the mall or whatever. Yeah, and whatever. I broke into one. I the, the, knocked the, it down. No, you just smack some in the face right there <laughs> like what are you gonna do <laughs> i'm gonna look at her and i'm gonna say i'm sorry yeah i'm gonna say you're on gopro <laughs> and i'm gonna get the f out of there bro. Yeah. skittles what's been your favorite part about the rides that you've been on honestly just seeing everybody pop out there like yeah it's just it's crazy you know like we kind of just hey, we started hey, off hey, can, um can you fill up my drink real quick and we can edit it out yeah yeah <laughs> my sips. <laughs> Go ahead, man. I want me to cut you a whole. No, year. you're good. You're good. Yeah. <clears throat> so it, it just like from where it started to just you know watching videos on these guys doing these crazy things on the bikes to like you know it just went from starting on my beach cruiser and shit and that's you know I think you can't really willy that thing but this dude <laughs> he made it possible yeah. and just like. Just going out there like on my own bike and just seeing everybody else like doing the same shit that I seen in the videos is just it's just a trip for me. Yeah. You know, I'm like I never thought I'd see that like somebody doing that in Tucson, you know. I don't yeah. know, it's just kinda weird, but like I never knew there's people like that in Tucson, but just seeing everybody out there and like it doesn't matter if they're not willing, you know, there's families out there, kids, you know, yeah. moms and dads and everything and it's just it's just awesome bringing everybody together. And, you know, bringing it back to what Mark was saying, you know, getting kids, kids out of uh, doing drugs and just fucking all kinds of legal shit, you know what yeah. I mean? Just stay out the streets. That shit yeah, not it, cool. It's not cool. It's a healthy man. alternative, right? Pick yeah. up a bike and wheelie yeah, that shit. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? Definitely. All that, you know. Yeah. Guns down, bikes up. Yeah, there you <laughs> I go. like that. I like that. Guns yeah. down, bikes up. Yeah. Guns down, bikes up, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> 12 o'clock. Hey, you, you were talking about merch. That sounds like a t-shirt right there. Yeah, facts. Business <laughs> ideas. <laughs> no, I have that on a shirt, though, low-key. You already have it already? Yeah. How, where'd you oh, get that no. one? Amazon. Amazon is nah, it all. No, nah, I got it <laughs> custom-made for my homie. Re, Refine and Reflex. Shout out Refine and Reflex. <laughs> Ralph. 
all the way and I think it's like oh, wow. Seattle or some shit I don't even know shout Damn. out my boy he hooked a team up with team shirts that man is lit 3D custom reflective shirts that say all of our Instagram names bikes up bikes down you know what I'm saying bear down boys all that on the front he hooked us up bro he said time. bikes up bikes down Gun, guns up bikes <laughs> down. guns up no <laughs> guns up, bikes up. Guns put the guns down, away put the guns away guns put up guns away. bikes down <laughs> Put your guns away and get your bikes out. The guns down, <laughs> bikes up. The Instagrams for Bear Down Boys and Marky and Skittles will be down in the description below. So yeah, make yeah. sure you go show them some love and find all that stuff, all that fun nonsense. But yeah, also, um, Bear Down Boys, uh, like I said, I want to shout out everybody in that group. Um, what's it called? I know that there's some people in there that I haven't really, like, know exactly like we haven't really chopped it up but shout out you guys as well how are you gonna know like 200 plus people like in intimately you know that's, yeah that's a lot to ask of a guy in charge but the f the fact alone that you're like uh shouting them out without knowing all of them you know that shows the kind of person you are yeah that's pretty cool are you trying to pull up a list of names? I got the names right here. Look at <laughs> I got it. I'm gonna go shout out to old TJ. Shout out Boyle, drop back boy. Shout out Isma, you're a killer, bro. You already know T Rex, you the troops, man. Nano, you already know how we rocking. Shout out A Mac, you know the vibes. Yeah, Bike Life Carlitos, you you the goat, bro. Shout out my boy Dreamlid. You you make the hardest fucking my boy Dreamlid. You actually look yeah. at this. He makes fucking. He makes lids, custom lids for people and riders to through all around. See, this is awesome. World. So th this guy. He's, ma he's making Jimmy helmets, Hicks. right? He's oh and yeah, we'll just pop him up there. And he does it different. So he's making custom helmets, right? So that that's huge. Like you're creating a community where all these guys are coming up with business ideas to start exactly. selling like, different accessories for it. Hugo, that's all awesome. the way down in Mexico, bro. Fixie rider, you know what I'm saying? Throne gang, you're the truth, man. Boy germs, <laughs> love you, bro. You're the truth, man. Hell yeah, for sure. Happy daddy stunts, bro. Do I even gotta say anything? <laughs> you already know it's great that you've created this community it's great that it looks like not only is it growing it's like getting smarter like it looks like there's all sorts of different guys that could play roles you know like you just mentioned a mechanic like that's huge that you have a mechanic that they can be like working on the bikes and obviously everybody's gonna learn how to work on bikes 100% just oh. naturally riding them right but like there's opportunity for a whole lot of interesting um, entrepreneurship there, you know, hundred percent beyond just the group. So, what are you most excited about for the future of the Bear Down Boys? Honestly, not even for the Bear Down Boys. What I'm excited for for the future, and now I haven't really told anybody about it, but I plan on on making my own brand, like okay. I was telling you. I plan on making my own brand and my own merch, and it's going to be called Disruptive Riders. And I've been tagging that that on a hashtag in my past Instagram posts and. Um, I have a couple friends reach out to me like what is disruptive riders but now I'm gonna now it's coming out like I want to make my own merch and my own brand called disruptive riders and people people ask me why disruptive my mom's friend asked me why disruptive and I feel like that's a perfect word I, the way we ride is is loud it's out it's it's you know what I'm saying it's outland like I don't I don't even know how to describe it, bro. The way we ride is different, bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't see a person riding a bike on the side of the fucking street, swerving in and out of traffic, like doing tricks on the seat. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's crazy. And whether that be a dirt bike, a quad, a bicycle, bro, a fucking moped, bro, like, <laughs> bro, we're on that. <laughs> One of those tiny little clown mm -hmm. trikes. <laughs> 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 bro, Arizona is one of the most beautiful places you can get a bicycle and go and jump on a path and just f***ing ride yeah. here in Tucson, Arizona. But we also have a cool urban, urban little place, bro, where people, people always talk shit about Arizona and Tucson, especially because of the drama they brought upon themselves. Bro, if you get a bike and you just go downtown, bro, I promise you, you'll find some shit that you ain't never seen before. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Go nice. by the U of A, you'll see some shit you ain't never seen before. There's a lot of cool public art and stuff. That's exactly, like, bro. And it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited to see what the Bear Down Boys do. Yeah. And as soon as I get Me my too. bike tuned up, I'm going to be coming out for a ride. You will be a Bear Down Boy, my yeah, boy. Yeah. Like yesterday, bro, like we had three people follow us, bro. The Bear Down Boys had three people follow us and was just like, hey, what's your guys' Instagram? This and that. Like, you guys are cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying we were riding around solo. Like, this is cool what you guys are doing. Yeah. And so and they they were riding bikes and they just riding by themselves BMX yeah. bikes by themselves like yeah. like just fucking up you know what I'm saying because there's 
believe it or not, bro, there's f***ing people out there who just get a BMX bike, go outside, and just try to f*** shit up. You know what I'm saying? And that, there's nothing wrong with that. That shit's cool. Like, yeah. But it, it it's something about the Bear Down Boys that'll bring the community together, and that's I feel like that's yeah. something different than everybody else, bro. Like, rather than there's these these cyclo rideas that they're fucking having, you know what I'm saying? They'll give a date where they all bring their road bikes and ride. Like every day we'll post, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you guys want to ride? Like, let's go ride. We're gonna have a have yeah. some people. Let's ride. Yeah. And nothing's wrong with riding bikes, bro. A lot of people nowadays are focused on what's going on in the world. We have a lot of crazy things going on in the world. I feel like riding a bike's a great outlet because it makes you focus on your on 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 your physical health and not your 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 mental health. You know what I'm saying? Like and your immediate you're, community. Exactly, you know, bro. Like so. once you're riding a bike, bro, like you you start you start your heart starts beating, bro. You start breathing harder, and 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 then you start you focus on that, bro. And then that then then that makes you realize that that's what matters, bro, in life. Like yeah. people are always so focused on what's on their phone and what's in front of them and mm-hmm. and what's yeah. going on, on social media, like. Bro, yeah. you gotta be focused on your on your Too much. mental health. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, seeing your your progression on social media it reminds me of like Forrest Gump <laughs> when, when when he ran across the country. You know what I'm talking about? And he gets more and more people running behind him. Yeah. Like every every time I saw your ride outs and you're posting about it, it was like more and more and more people on bikes. And it eventually, it was like. Holy shit! They're like disrupting traffic. They got too many people out there, which is awesome. Like that's uh, that's so cool, you know. And like you just said, disrupting traffic, bro. Disruptive riders is gonna be a big thing. There you go. It's gonna start off small, and like I said, it's gonna take time, bro. Just like me, Nano starting, and them starting the Bear Down Boys, and everybody coming together, bro. And you know what I'm saying, and and us making this something, bro. Like it's gonna take time, but I believe in it. So, yeah. yeah. Did you ever expect it to get this big, or was it? Yeah, absolutely, bro. I knew it would. I knew. I knew. I knew it would. It would. It would blow up. But I didn't think it would be less than a year, bro. I think if you don't expect it, it doesn't happen, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you didn't notice, he's been saying throughout this episode, the video right there. That's because for you guys listening on Spotify, we are also on YouTube. Yeah. Right. Check it out. We're also on YouTube. We're also everywhere. You guys got to check it out. Yeah, and Marky had something he wanted to say to the YouTube uh, fans, right? Yeah, all you guys <laughs> need to check this shit out. Like, comment, subscribe right now. Share it. Mm-hmm. And this is the only way that it's going to get bigger and better. You guys want to see better people on this show? You guys want to see bigger people on this show? You guys want to see more people? Like, like, comment, and subscribe, bro. That's the only way it's going to get better. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what. I, that's got to be the best uh, promotion yet, you know? And honestly... <laughs> Like yeah. <laughs> Share this shit with your family members, everybody, cousins, your dogs, your cats, yeah. everybody. And you like know, I, I said, your this want to watch this one. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is this is this is Marky right here, and this is I'm right outside with Jude and, and my boy Doug right here. This is a weekly pleb times Marky two three eight three times the Bear Down Boys. This is only get bigger, better, and stronger. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode right here. Like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. Go follow. Go reshare. <laughs> And it's only going to get better from here. Thank you guys for right. tapping in. Thank you guys for coming. That's it. That's a close. That's a close. Wait. Who, who, who called them? Somebody called the cops on you? Well, no. You said somebody told you that I was taking pictures of houses. Who told you that? No, it's just the neighbors. Well, who's your neighbors, bro? Because I'm... I'm Dog, that's profiling, bro. I ride my bike here every day. Why would you get my neighbors Well, bro, why the fuck would you get out of your car at me? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, bro. Yeah. Dude, grow the f up, bro. I'm riding my bike around the neighborhood. Right. Get a fucking life, loser, for real. Yeah, fuck you. You're I'm a loser, bro. Like, hey, you. Bro, take a, me, bro. Yeah. take a picture of me, bro. Take a picture of me. Take a picture of me. Go ahead. My, my shit's on my back of my shirt. Right. Take it.